Hi, I'm Tim, and I want to show you how you can set up a developer portal for your GraphQL API with just a few clicks. We are looking at the Countries API from Trevor Blades, which is um, also using Stellate to be blazingly fast. So we have the continents here, we're getting them as a query. Now, if Trevor, for example, decides to uh, control the access or he would like to have a billing built in, the graphical here is not sufficient. So how can we now add uh, those features to his API? I'm creating a new service which points to his um, API. Let's give it a name like developer or like countries portal, for example. That apparently doesn't exist yet. And we already say that we want to use the developer portal and create a new service. With that, we need to wait a sec. And so under the settings, we now have a new tab here called Developer Portal. Now, the portal has already been created by default. We can already open it. So we literally just had this one little checkbox there that we say we want a portal. And now we get the portal here and you see it's already ready. This is all generated for you. There's no work to do. Your users can already sign up. We are managing things via Auth0. We'll have a look into that in a bit. But let's first figure out the, um, the authentication piece. So by default, we are not requiring authentication just so you are able to test things and not break anything. So if you, for example, want to use the same uh, URL for your main app, um, then you would want to first try this out without authentication. Um, so you're not block you're like blocking any traffic really. And so authentication is by default disabled. Um, and so let's do a query already without authentication for that. I will actually show a little example snippet in here. There are no examples yet. And we will show an example snippet. So on this page here in this visual editor, uh, which is basically a two-way binding, by the way, to your config, in this visual, visual editor, we can now um, add some markdown, right? Markdown is the standard to write docs. And we have a special um, support here for a code tag, which we call graphical. So usually you probably have something like GraphQL. We have graphical in here and you can write a query. Well, this is a query, it's not a valid query. So let's choose, for example, this one with the continents, put it in here and save the configuration. And this will be applied um, and your app is ready in a sec. Let's reload and there you go. You get the new uh, you even can have any code tags with TypeScript here, but you also get an inline graphical now. You can play, and there you go. Should work. Yeah, there we go. So we now have this uh, requested. Now, um, as a next step, this is currently, there's no authentication needed. Let's now turn on the need for authentication, and that's literally just pressing this button and confirming. We are just warning you that this might block traffic on, um, like, unintended and so be careful don't have production traffic from your main app on that without uh, checking that and so now we can't send the request anymore be without being authenticated and so I will now authenticate here let's use my Stellate email and let's have a look okay we don't have an API key yet we send a request now still not working but if we create an API key now, we can say my API key. I now have to create an API key. You are able to see the usage now of what how people are using your app. You can control really the access to it. And um, let's, let's, for example, look at the, the countries here. And there we go. It works. So now we have access. That's amazing. So with just in a few minutes, we could set this up. And you have a few more options. You can, for example, add a custom domain uh, that the portal is served under. Right now, it's served under a static IO. We have it intentionally as a separate um, endpoint than where your API is hosted just because the portal is something different than your API. You're able to add any uh, branding here, for example, also a different color. Let's put red. Let's see what happens then. So we're basically deducting all other colors or shades of the of the main color. So if your brand color is just pure red, there you go. You can even make that happen. So that's really it. That's the developer portal, uh, public beta version. 
Uh, we have a bunch of things that we're also cooking up like a monetization so you're able to um, have billing built in so you literally just put Stellate in front and you can uh, charge for your API. But also this bit here, the readme, um, is a perfect use case to uh, be generated by AI. So I'm curious to hear your use case and how this is going for you and excited to be hearing from you. Thank you.